Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we're going to see how to add, okay, or hide columns or rows, okay. And here is what I'm talking about. You can see, for instance, I want to hide this specific column and show it again. Like if I click hide, it hides it, okay. If I click show, it shows it, okay. Now if I click a row, hide row, I want to add uh, hide this first row. If I click hide it hides it if i click show it shows it okay so what we're going to do see today we're going to see how we can do this one in code okay so uh fire up your ide as usual uh visual studio 2013 is what i'm using so uh, i'll create a new application Control Shift N. Okay, then it brings to me uh, this one. I say add and hide. Then click OK. I guess I love to be patient with my computer today. So here is our form. Uh, what I'll do straight away, I'll add data grid view to the form. I have it over here. Let me resize this one. Now, uh, this is our data grid view. Uh, what I'll do again, I'll add uh, four buttons. The first button, I'll change its text property to uh, hide column. Okay. Then I'll change its name uh, to hide column btn. The second one, I'll copy, I'll just copy this one, paste it over here. I'll come, say, uh, show column btn. Then I'll come over to its text property and say show column. So this uh, this is what will be this will be hiding the column. This will be showing the column. Then I'll press the button again for hiding row and say hide row. And then I'll come over down here and say hide row btn okay then i'll paste it over here again and say uh, show show row btn and come over and say uh, show row okay let me resize this one no, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we have our four buttons. So what we're going to do uh, first, uh, we're going to add fill this uh, data grid view. Okay, I'm going to create a method known as update. Okay, then uh, from this, remember, uh, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to add specific uh, columns and rows to this uh, data grid view okay so what we're going to do i'm just going to create this method known as update i'll say public void update okay then the first thing is add column to add column what we're going to say we're going to say first of all data grid view dot column count dot column count 
okay is equal to I'll just give it for then data grid v1 okay dot columns this will return an array then we pick the first element from that array uh, we assign its name property I'll just call it position okay then I'll just now copy paste this one uh, to save time this one will be team and then this one will be uh, points I'll just leave the three of them I won't add the fourth one in fact let me change this one to three so as to save time then I uh, will add rows to add row what we do is very simple uh, first of all we just create an array list we call it row is equal to new array list okay then uh, let's resolve this one so uh, from the array list we'll be adding uh, we're going to say row dot add uh, the first element that we're going to add is the position which is one okay after adding the position obviously we're going to add the team the team which I'm going to say uh, probably real Madrid then uh, the third one uh, which is the points I'm going to say 90 then I'll now copy paste this one and add uh, the second and third rows now this one will be 2 this one will be Barcelona I'll give it uh, 88 and add the third one which will be position 3 I'll call it Atletico Madrid I'll give it points of 79 okay no remember uh, this one uh, we've not yet added the rows uh, to the data grid view so to do that one just say data grid view 1 okay dot rows dot add now we add the, that specific row we say row but remember a row is an array list so we have to change it to array because this thing is expecting an array so I'll copy paste this one again and very first uh, have it over there okay so right now if I run the app uh, we'll just sh uh, see uh, the rows okay and the columns but remember what we want to do we want to hide and show so let's start with the hide now when the hide button is uh, clicked here we want to hide the first column okay so we're going to say data grid view one okay dot columns then out of the columns we pick the first one right now uh, dot visible and then we say to be false now that is what will happen uh, when the first uh, co when the hide column is clicked. What about when they show? What we do? We just uh, assign this one to uh, true. Okay. So the same thing to row. Now for row, uh, it's going to be data grid view one dot rows okay then uh, we pick the first element in the array dot visible is equal to false then we do this uh, the opposite of that one uh, to the show now we come and say a data grid v1 dot rows dot visible equal to true okay so uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, let's run uh, the app and see uh, 
expected my computer to be slow today. So uh, let us resize them. Ladies and gentlemen, right now you can see there are three uh, columns. Actually, this one we were supposed to name it. Okay, so when I click uh, hide, you can see it hides the very first column. But when I click show, you can see it shows it. Okay, hide, hides it, show, shows it. What about row? When I click hide, it hides the first row. When I click show, it shows the first row. Okay. So guys, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the today's tutorial. Please, if you have, uh, subscribe to this channel, uh, comment, uh, like this video, share it with your friends. I'm sure they like it. So uh, take care. See you next time.